hello everyone so as we know we are moving with the module number 3 that is technical communication in the previous video of the module 3 we have covered total three topics that is, first is the public speaking second group discussion and third is the presentation strategies this we have covered today we are going to start a new topic that is interview skills you have heard the name interview while applying in any organization to applying for the job first you have to clear the interview and this skills required to clear that interview it is termed as interview skills the day of your job interview becomes the most crucial day in deciding the direction of your career path whether you are moving with the same organization where you are applying or if you don't clear it you have to move further with the other organization so it is very important that you understand what is required to be the most desirable candidate for the job and how to prepare for the interview the most important question in our mind is how i prepare for the interview that we will learn today to understand that first of all to understand what you have to prepare prepare you have to first clear in your mind that why they are taking interview what are they actually looking for you have to clear it and the very first and the obvious answer is that they want people who are true in knowledge of their own area for example this subject knowledge your sub knowledge of the subject but that's not it apart from the subject knowledge organization look for the employee who work effectively having good people skills having positive attitude good communication skills team work interested in doing the particular job in the questions as well as overall how a person is a human being this all other than the subject knowledge this all we are learning in the subject etc this what we are learning that means the positive attitude good communication skills this all required apart from the subject knowledge you may feel that for all these things there is no need to do the preparation if but if you have through well about the different aspects of yourself you will be able to present yourself better in the interview if you know yourself how i am how i want to present what are my different aspects if you know that then and then only you can uh, you can present yourself in a better way for that this all skills are required so now let's understand what is interview skill we have learned can they observe the subject knowledge apart from the subject knowledge they also observe various other things attitude good communication skills team work and all so let's understand some tips how to prepare for the interview and how to conduct yourself at the time of the interview yes first thing is the do introspection this is the first and the very important step of preparing for an interview introspection leads to knowing about your own self and making clarity in your mind what is introspection it is knowing about yourself that you have to work on yourself how i am how how my habits are what are my hobbies this all that means knowing yourself and making clarity in your mind so that as they ask any question you must be clear about yourself because at that time you don't have to fumble so for that you have to do the introspection this will help you to answer many behavior questions it is important to be sure about yourself if you are not sure about yourself then you will end up giving those answers that you think they want to hear but in fact it is important to be honest in the interview in the interview you have to be honest and how you will be honest the when you had done the introspection before the interview so this is the first and the foremost foremost thing that you have to do that you have to know about yourself second is the dress appropriately people see before they come to know about us this we are learning from since, since long that they hear see us before they hear us dressing appropriately gives that first impression and sets a positive tone for the interview it gives a boost to your confidence if you are dressed well you will be more confident 
dressing appropriately means according to the job and the company here we are using the word dress appropriately appropriately means not the formal but you have to dress according to your job and the company you must first find out what is the company culture the dress code from that you will get a hint on how to dress up many companies have semi casuals in their culture and many others are highly formal appropriate dressing and neatly groomed person gives a first good impression third is the display good non verbal communication as discussed earlier we already have how how many non verbal communication that we have no is the instrumental in making our overall communication effective during the interview you must give answers by making eye contact with all the interviewers as it shows confident keep a straight posture use positive gesture greet with a firm handshake avoid frightening with things and wear a confident smile always you have to smile while giving the interview your non verbal communication tells a lot about you and so a positive body language will make a good impression on the interviewer so along with the verbal you have to show your good non verbal communication skills fourth is listen attentively generally the people avoiding this fourth point listen attentively remember that listening is the most important aspects of your communication skills and so the interviewer accept you to listen attentively and give the relevant and the full answers of what is asked sometimes the candidate end up answering the questions in a completely different angle from what the interviewer has asked and sometimes the candidate always ask have to ask for the clarification of the questions they continuously ask what you have said pardon one or two times is it's valid but you continuously you don't have to ask the question this shows your poor listening skill and hence sharpen your listening comprehension so fourth point you have to keep in mind listen attentively fifth answer the question fully with the relevance many times the interviewer ask you to give an example of the project or work that you completely suc- completed successfully by asking such questions the interviewers want to evaluate your behavior aspects like personal effectiveness interpersonal skills management etc and so answering such questions require a clear narration of how you did that particular job in the past we, we have heard that in the interview we are generally asked that what what was your project what you have done in your final year project so it is how you have worked you have to be honest and you have to narrate how you have particular done that project you should be able to remember the particular instance or situation and explain how you displayed certain quantities during that work so you have to display properly that work and they observe the your effectiveness interpersonal skills sixth is the correct use the correct verbal language we have learned about the non verbal communication now you have to learn about the verbal language correct grammar and sentence formation is the basic requirement of verbal language also strong vocabulary will help you to use the appropriate word at different places it will also make you fluent and you will move you will not fumble and search for what to speak also be careful that you do not use slang or anything inappropriate you have to avoid the inappropriate language seventh is do not speak too much most important many times to show or the persons are too enthusiastic that they continuously go on speaking but do not speak too much many people end up speaking too much to show their confidence and trying to impress the interviewer speaking more than required is a big mistake also if you have not prepared yourself enough for the interview question you may end up beating around the brush and that will show the lack of clarity it is important to answer only what is asked and required ninth and the last is ask a question usually at the end of the interview the candidate is asked if they want to clarify or on something at such time saying that you don't have any question leaves an impression that you are not interested in knowing more about the company and you have appeared casually the interview just to get the job 
by asking questions you can find out whether it is appropriate job profile and appropriate place to work during the interview you may have got many information but there may be some additional information that you required which will influence your decision and to say yes and no in case you are selected hence you must ask questions generally at the end of the interview you may ask you have any question at that time you have you have to say yes and question it anything that means what's the company timing what will be my salary and x y z so it will look that you are enthusiastic to get the job so these are the nine points that you have to keep in mind or you have to learn while appearing for the interview which are nine for ask a question at the end of the interview be profession professional do not speak too much use correct body question fully with the relevance listen attentively display good non verbal communication dress appropriately and do introspection the first thing that you have to do the introspection more topics of module number 3 will be further discussed in upcoming videos thank you